Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. It's Rare Whiskey Friday. And on Rare Whiskey Friday, we're gonna go through and give first impressions on several different whiskeys. These aren't necessarily large brands. Sometimes they are, more often than not, these are gonna be your smaller craft distilleries without a tremendous amount of distribution. If you should be so lucky to live in a place to get your hands on any of these whiskeys, you're welcome for the review. And thank you to the Magnificent Bastards who sent the whiskey. Whenever you're doing it, yeah. I always sort of think of myself as one of those like backup vocal lines. Yeah. As like the lead guy is doing his thing. In the back, the three backup vocalists are all doing like the choreographed moves. And then I should get halfway through it. I can't go on. I can't go on. Oh, Did you bring you, the cake? Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, oh, you fall to your knees. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So these, we've got three whiskeys from Titan. Titan, 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 Titan. Then you're going to be. Titan, William Schaffer. In the distance, do you hear that? It's William. Magnificent bastards. It is in the up in the mid twenties in donated whiskeys now. <laughs> He's no Peter Wait, Golden. Will <laughs> <laughs> William, does your wife know what's happening here? <laughs> Do we need to have a talk? I think we, we just replaced William's wife and he's going to be calling us up with an interesting request here yeah like, hey you know you guys know how you're going to earn all those whiskey yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay if i so, don't drink it do i not have to fulfill the yeah obligation this one is dry fly straight so we've done dry fly before these guys are a washington distillery yeah what were you oh just a paper airplane what were you aiming for i was aiming for the thing there uh all right, what do we got? Dry fly. Dry fly. We've done them before, but this is a straight bourbon. Um, they're doing pot, three-year-old straight bourbon. Sure. Now, remember, they're using uh, a correctly pronounced triticale. Triticale grain. Triticale? It might be triticale as well. Is it yeah. triticale? Tri no, it's, uh, the C is pronounced like an S. So it's actually triticale. Thanks, triticale? Or it's triticale. I think is what it is. I think you got it. Anyway, it's corn and tritisali grain. <sighs> Tritty kale. <laughs> and we're going to do another one from... Oh, did you get that super hard candy? Not cherry. Well, there, there is a, a bit of cherry in there, but it's cherry mixed with something. It's yeah, not it's, straight maritime cherry, wild cherry. It's just mixed with something. So it's that super cherry cough drop action. Okay, like hard candy cherry mixed yeah. with... There's like some, some brown sugar. Uh, but look, look, here's the thing. Those are very classic bourbon notes. Yeah. And this is a Something, little bit different angle yeah. on those notes. But I can't figure out how it's coming. It is. It's the same classic bourbon notes, but like, like, you know what it reminds me of is if you, uh, what are those things, a kaleidoscope? Yeah. So you're looking at a light and it's refracted on all these ways. So, and then you twist it slightly to the left and it's all the same colors, but the shape is different. I'm going to throw something at you. Uh, what about an herbal oaky honey i could buy that an herbal so you got like the herbal quality and then you like you you, you shave off a little bit of the beep, beep, with the oakiness and then you kind of mix that mix that powder because they dry that out mm. then you mix it in that powder of the herbs and the oakiness in with the honey i could buy that and then there's like a cherry hard candy thing floating mm -hmm. around 
Damn it, nose. that's not a really great whiskey. I don't remember what we thought about dry fly before, but I really like that. I'm getting more of almost a cherry cola on the finish. Like a cherry cola finish. You getting that? Yeah. That cola, specifically cola. Cherry cola finish. Yeah. That's nice. I like that. Going back in. Me too. I find more brown sugar on the nose in the second approach. And then I'm going to double down on the cherry cola. Yeah. The, yeah. Me too. I. That's nice. I like that. It's really try good. Try fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, uh, this hasn't been proof to the floor. This is... What do we got? Oh, 50.5% ABV. That's why 101. 101. Bourbon 101. Oh, is that what it's It's like called? Wild Turkey 101. I see They're what calling you did it there. I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three years. All right. This is another dry fly release, but this is wheat whiskey finished in a beer barrel. Kind of. I want to know how they wrap that bottle. They have a series because they're all about flies and things like that. Oh, you can get these. Uh, I know how we do that. But it's, it's can I get it like more of a matte finish? It's a semi gloss there. I want like a matte. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's totally possible. It's All actually right. closer to like a Octomore. Oh, nice. That's what right. I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is a cold smoke Scotch ale finish, uh, wheat whiskey. They say, you Wait, know how they're all about dry fly fishing? Cold smoke, scotch, ale, finish. I don't know what that means. Wheat whiskey. That's a you lot. You know what? Of, there was a little bit of a it's a lot of things. Fresh glass. Fresh glass time. What? Cold smoke. Scotch ale. Scotch ale. We did a scotch ale rye, and it was right. it was your favorite thing we've done. Oh, yeah. No. Dude, for the stuff coming out of our project mm -hmm. across the campus here, uh, for it to have been a rye, that scotch ale finished rye is beautiful. I love that. And it's gone forever now. <laughs> is there Ooh. an apple juice note in that for you? So what's, what's striking me is... The nose is presenting as dense and aromatic as like a cologne. Yeah. Yeah. There's not a wisp here. It's just a that meaty tendril of, of of smelly bits. This is like scotch level density. Mm-hmm. Different than the taste. It's just like a really soft honey with a little bit of a like musty a, funk on the back edge of it. Uh, the, but the, uh, the beginning of that is almost like a, like a minty quality. Yeah. What is that? That like tastes... Natural, it's, the nose is very different than the taste. Yeah, the taste is... Yeah, these are two totally different animals. Yeah. And here's the interesting thing. Normally, I find that like I really love the nose, but the taste is a little boring. Right. Or I really don't like the nose, but the taste is really interesting. Right. This is... They're very different. They're both interesting. Yes, they're very different, but, but they're, they're totally both totally different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to throw some at you on the nose there. Are you on the nose, not the taste. On the nose, are you getting some sandalwood? Yeah, I can see where you're going with that. But more like the actual, like the incense stick that's described as sandalwood, <laughs> right? That you burn and it, you know, just drops into this little tray thing. And then there's... Why do you gotta keep throwing things at me? I just wanna get on record as... Violence. All day long, you've just been throwing things at me. <laughs> I'm gonna throw something at you. I'm gonna just throw. Like, but why? I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna but why? See what sticks. You just need things to throw. Like, I like it better when you just throw things out there. It's I don't a, like it as much. It's a sandalwood and brown sugar. No, or I should say, when you put something out there, that's more fun for me than when you throw something at me. I, I retract the brown. Are you still saying about throwing things? I can yeah. throw something at you. No, no, no. I want you to put something out there instead of throw things at me. Okay. Miss, I'm just putting this out there. If we're pointing out foibles, <laughs> like, let's play, that's a, little, not a, foible. Let's play, let's play a drinking game. Every time Daniel says the proof, ringing in at... Do I say ringing in? Every time. Really? Every time. Dan, really? Ringing in. No, this is actually one I'm not aware of. Ringing Normally in. Normally I know when I'm repeating something <laughs> on a regular basis. Yeah. You want to go tit for tat on foibles? Right. What, else, what else you got? No, no. I'm not going, what else you got? Why is this a you foible? Go? You want to go with me? <laughs> it's not a foible. I got the list. I got the list. <laughs> <laughs> you can, I'm taking notes. <laughs> it's like dear, it's carved dear, dear diary. <laughs> Then he did this today. Dear, oh my God. Dear God, it's me, Margaret. <laughs> uh, what do you like better though? Ah, the much nose? better on the bourbon. No, 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 but what do you like better? Oh. The nose or the taste? Nose. I think so too, but that's yeah. not to take a lot away from the taste. No, the palate's good, but I like the nose better. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
We're moving on to the third William Shepard thing, and I think we're going to need. I think the palette once just, again. Palette is just a little bit more simple. Yeah, it's nice. It's just more simple. I was looking for more complexity too. Yeah. So we've done a couple of things from. Do we need to yell at somebody? No, this is still William. We've done a couple of things from. Why? He's throwing it at you. Let me throw that at you. <laughs> you <gotta> see. <laughs> I want, you to I, put, graze? I want you to switch to putting it out there. I think I grazed. <laughs> you did graze. I grazed. I can still feel the hairs like tingling. <laughs> um, we've done this. This, this is Rose, uh, Ghost Rose Owl. City Distilling. Ghost Owl is what it says. And we did there. Remember we did that Snake River Stampede bottle? Ooh. And it was, yeah, anyway. This is another product from these guys. This is called Ghost Owl. Yeah. It's a Canadian whiskey sourced, finished in ex rye and American corn whiskey barrels. Okay. I don't know if they did the aging, like they sourced Canadian whiskey and then moved it into those, mm -hmm. or if like the Canadian whiskey they bought was using old American corn and ex rye barrels, because that's totally possible too. Um, so, on the nose, I'm getting that soft caramel vanilla that you expect from the releases of a Canadian whiskey that we often get done here, but it doesn't, seem as thin or wispy or ethanol-y than you get from like a budget Canadian. I want to argue- it's a, it's a low proof though. Remember when we said we were trying to approach the budget scotch from intended use? Yeah, it's 45% ABV. Right? Yeah. So budget scotch, we were sure. trying to approach from intended use. Well, just, just anything intended. These use, yeah. guys have specifically stated mm -hmm. that they are aiming for the casual consumer. Ice. Oh, you want ice? Yeah. Is it on? Well, it's regularly not on. This is mostly water. You I'll, need more whiskey. I don't need any. No ice for you? No ice for me. I poured a little more whiskey in your glass so it could stand up to some more ice. Ice is all melty and drippy. Yeah, that's how that ice kind of ice machine works. Like, poorly is the word. Yeah, basically. Don't die. What? Hold on. Is it just me? You can do an AB. Did that wake up the nose with ice in there? Whoa. It woke up the fruit. Okay. It's the same level of volume, but it, it, it escalated the fruit notes. Uh, you see what I mean? I, I get a you know a little bit more volume on the on the nose. Yeah, this is tastes very simple oh. vanilla on mine. What does yours taste like? It look, it's simple. I am, am enjoying it more on the rocks. No. I am. Then you are their target market well, for that for that style. I'm enjoying it more than a neat pour. Right. Right. This particular. I whiskey. think their goal is mm. the entry level or casual consumer of whiskey as opposed to the somebody who's obsessed and, and you know, aficionado. It doesn't, one thing that often happens whenever you put a whiskey on the rocks is then it'll bury a lot of the sweetness and it'll just leave some tannin notes. Yeah. It, and, that can happen. And... Um, I got a couple of whiskeys in my house right now uh, that uh, over the weekend I just threw some rocks in there to stay hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first. Um, and hey, I look, noticed, a whiskey that's at 40% is 60% water. Well, that's a 45. Ah, oh, so 55. Do, there, do that math. I just did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you rose to the challenge before I even finished verbalizing the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm a math nerd. Uh, it's 14. 14. Yeah. And by the way, no matter how long it sits in this bottle, yeah. which according to 91 is almost 20 years it's sat in this bottle. Yeah. Right. So. But um, the the ones that I have in my house is like, man, it's gonna hit me with this tannin note with with the rocks in there. It does. I acclimate to it in a couple of minutes. That's fine. And it's just nice and rich and sweet and beautiful. This. There's no tan enough to speak nope. of. If you just want sweetness right out of the gate with your rocks in there, yeah, it's not a you know life changing amazing whiskey, but for mm. what they're making it for, it's fine. I see a lot of casual people who just want a sweet whiskey that's not going to hurt them, that's not going to present bitterness when they put it on ice. Nailed it. Fine. Yeah. So I'm kind of excited about this one. This is from Dewey Kinchin, a magnificent bastard. Dewey Kinchin, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> This is from an Atlanta distillery yeah. that I wish I knew existed when I was visiting Atlanta all the time because I would have gone there. This is a Baird's peated malt. You know what I think would be cool? Malt whiskey. Baird's peated malt. You know what I think would be cool? 
because we're poking at the fringes of trying to get like some app functionality, the minimum viable functionality just to get something out the door. But what right. I think would be cool though is in the Whiskey Tribe app, if uh, there was basically on the on the back end a geolocation reference points for all of the distilleries yeah. in the states, yeah. and then. You can just get pinged, just like, hey, you're near such and such distillery. Yeah, did you realize? Yeah. Oh, no, I love that idea. And you like, there's distilleries that are in South Austin. No, there's a distillery the, down I, the I'll road. I'll see a sign, like, when the hell did that show up? Yeah, like, yeah. no, on, on my way to Dripping, I passed a sign that was like, yeah, yeah. that's where that place is. Yeah. It's 10 minutes from me. Yeah. Yeah, that would require people turning on like the geolocation thing. I have all of them turned off on mine. Yeah. So we would, but, but you just, I have it off because the value it normally provides right. isn't value for me, it's value for them. Right. But this is value for me. I'm saying. So, so I yeah. mean, we're like months away from even doing like location yeah. stuff. Right now we're starting with the first entry level functionality. I want you to look at the name on this one. So so they're using Baird Scottish malt, yeah. heavily peated, 100% heavily peated malt. Yeah. And aged in new, wait, don't smell it yet. Aged in new charred oak instead of used, right? So it's the American version of uh, peated malt. Okay. Look at the name. Tire fire. <laughs> Right? Yeah, yeah. I really like the name. I like the name, uh, the design of the label. Man, with a name like Tire Fire, look, this is very frustrating to me. With a name like Tire Fire, how are you going to play it safe with the label? Right? Mm. Come yeah. on, man. You can go. I think that's just in brand. Right? So I think like their whole brand is this style, and the unique thing was the name. So. With the drama that's coming out of this glass, <laughs> yeah, and the intrinsic, you know, like, like, just the, the visual cues that it lends itself to with Dude, tire fire. This is barnyard. It it delivers. Like, here's the, everything is delivering on the name tire fire on the nose, except, except for the, the label. label. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the nose on this thing is an actual fire in in like oh. a in, at the zoo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Like all the animal feed right. the, smell. Oh, the feed is getting burned. Yeah. Like the, the animal feed. They're set fire to the animal feed. The storage room for all the animal feed. Yes. That caught fire. And then and then and then it uh it's it spread into the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> Not the cars are burning. Some cars are burning, yeah. No, this is this is like you know when you buy the bag of feed at the zoo? Yeah. And there's some oh, animals. There's some animals that you can feed and some you can't. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Which just means young malt. That's Dude. all that's all that, that really means. Here's it. Young malt. Yeah. The the zoo animal feed. Gosh, that's like a really obscure but nailed it note. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! I feel like that's a, herbal. I feel like a zoo animal. It doesn't taste like it smells. Uh, I mean, it's definitely uh, got all the malt and grain and the feed funk. It's definitely got the smoky funk, oh. but there's this herbal note in there that's very weird. So what's catching me is the finish has this nutty quality to the finish. Yeah, like I guess first, I'm putting that in the quality of, of herbal. The first, well, the first three-fourths of this, I, I gotta go back, I gotta figure it out. Mm -hmm. But what stuck with me was all these weird smoky rubber tire fire notes that are getting thrown at me. By the time I get to the finish, I don't know what's going on, but then the finish lands with like a nice little nut job there. A little nut job. Takes you home. I don't know, okay, so I would agree, but only if you, if you do it as um, sunflower seeds, right? The shelled sunflower seeds, where you can like get them by the handful instead of have to chew through the shell. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So think that level of nutty sunflower seeds. On the finish. Yeah. Let me get there. I know, it takes a while. Yeah. This is lingering. This is really lingering. Oh, yeah. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sunflower seeds. Not walnut, not put yes. sunflower seeds. Yes, yeah, sunflower seed finish. Good. Yeah. I, I. So, this is not my preference. Yeah. But I, I'm also enjoying it. No, it's a funky adventure. Because... It's a funky adventure. This is an adventure in my category of preferred adventures. Smoky stuff, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. But, hold on. Good on them for doing something interesting. Let me potentially ruin this for you. Oh, no. Throw on that taste there. And then that note that you're not a fan of. That in green. In craft whiskey, that pine sappy note. Do you find that? Yeah, I see what you mean yeah. by that. Yeah, but it's mixed in with so many. It's so buried. Big. 
Yeah, it's Big buried place. enough that it's not bothering me as much. Well, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, Dewey. <laughs> they should think people who put occasionally, like a distillery, will put um, this something we said. Uh, yeah, on their uh, on, on the website. Yeah, as a review. I would love for a distillery. <laughs> To just take a quote from us. Just a whole bunch of consonants. Alright, is that it? That's it. Alright, here's the fighting stealing drink. If you fight me, you fight for a friend. Steal me, you steal a letter sign. And if you drink, may you drink with us. Matthew Nelson. The Bottle Lord.